get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. All right, guys, we're back. It's Wednesday today. We're traveling to Georgia for the Georgia Southern Reason, the Georgia Southern Regional. <laughs> we're packing up all of our stuff from uh, our temporary hotel room. Radic, what's up, Law? Had a little practice this morning and and a lift. And a lift. So it's been a pretty hectic morning so far, but. We got to be out of the hotel at three o'clock. We have a charter flight to Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, and then probably have about a 40 minute bus ride from Savannah to the hotel. And our first game is against Texas Tech on Friday at two o'clock. So excited to play some playoff baseball. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, we're gonna get out of here. to Statesboro last night. Got into the old hotel room. Yeah. We're with, with Teach. Let's pop it. Got a little practice at 11.30. It's about 11 o'clock now, so we're gonna head down in a little bit over at uh, Georgia Southern's field. Not quite sure what to expect. They're like a mid-major, so probably not gonna be a huge venue, but hopefully it's somewhat nice and it'll hold a decent amount of fans. So gonna head over there, get a little practice in, and then uh, I think we're just gonna have the rest of the day to kind of chill out and relax. Pretty much all the games are must win, obviously. So just gonna head over to the field, get ready for tomorrow's game. Uh, Coach Jarrett, why don't you go ahead and start off with some comments uh, really on your season up to this point and what you guys are looking to get done here in Statesboro. Well, there's one thing we're looking to get done here. Obviously, that's try to compete with these three championship-level teams. Everybody in this tournament, all 64 teams, have, have found a way to do something special throughout the course of either the long season or a very difficult conference tournament. And these teams are no exception to that. All four are unique, all four are good, all four are competitive. So that's what you're running into. And, and to be playing baseball this weekend, you have clearly separated yourself in some form or fashion. I'm proud of our team. I'm very thankful that we're playing. And our guys are excited to be here. We're ready to go. Had a good little practice yesterday, and it is game day today, so our team room is actually over there across the street, so gonna head over there for the little scouting report, and then gonna head to the field, take BP, and get the game going. We're playing Texas Tech today, so obviously all the teams who are in this tournament now are gonna be really good, and uh, we just gotta be on our best game and take care of business, so JM's going on the mound today, should be a fun day, let's go. Looking at J.I. Clement Stadium on the campus of Georgia Southern. We've got one of the best regionals out there with three top 25 teams. It's that time of year though, and a terrific matchup to start things off. It's Texas Tech and Notre Dame. John go, Michael one, two, three. Will be on the bump for Notre Dame. The big time backward K. What a job by John Michael Bertrand to get out of major hot water in the first. Ryan Cole, he continues his assault on opposing pitcher down the right field line. Just inside the chart. The two runs are scored and the fighting Irish strike first. Scary sight throughout regional play. And when there is lightning within eight miles, then everybody has to leave the field and we will have ourselves a 30 minute delay. 
top of the second. It took about six hours to get to that point, but we are in the top of the second. It's about to unfold. Notre Dame two, Texas Tech nothing. But no more John Michael Bertrand. Instead, they'll turn it over to the junior, Liam Simon. And this is a young man that's got some really good stuff. Simon, electric, strikes out the side. Wow, that is just straight gas. Goodness gracious, back-to-back -back inning, striking out the side. Another strikeout that ties a season high for Simon with eight. Another really good arm out of the bullpen, Alex Gray. Fastball, strike three. Got him swinging. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back strikeouts to retire the side. Six strikeout for Alex Gray. Two on the brand again. Another one in the dirt, breaking for home is Miller, and the Irish regain the lead, three to two. Well guys, today was probably one of the most eventful days I've ever had playing baseball. We were at the field for 12 hours today. Uh, the game was originally supposed to start at 2, so we started at 2. We were the home team, so we went out, uh, didn't give up a run, and then we come in, we get a two-run double, and then whoever was like running the weather there said there was lightning s like seven miles away. It was still sunny outside at this time, so we were all super confused, but so we got sent into this um, like building on campus or whatever, stayed in there for a little bit, and then after about like I think maybe an hour, we came back to the hotel for like 30, 45 minutes, ended up going back to the field. We we're going to start at like 5.30. We're all getting warmed up. Our pitcher's getting warmed up to go in, and then like 10 minutes before the game's supposed to start, they delay the game again. So we didn't end up starting tonight until like 8.30, finished the game at like 11.30, and then didn't get back to the hotel till about 12 from cleaning up and post-game talks and all that stuff. And it's about 12.45 right now, and I'm just dead. It was a long day. I still got to get some food. Not quite sure what I'm going to do, but that is a huge win for us tonight. Played as well as we could have with the circumstances given. And uh, another good thing is JM only threw 25 pitches today, so he should be able to come back this weekend and throw again and start another game for us. So just a huge win for us to get out to a 1-0 start, especially against Texas Tech. And it saves us from having to play some more games, and we're not sure who our opponent is yet tomorrow. I think that'll be decided in the morning, either UNC Greensboro or Georgia Southern. I guess we'll find out who we play tomorrow, but God, that was one of the most eventful days I've ever had on the field. Glad we came out with a W, super excited for tomorrow. The Irish are rolling, so let's keep it going for the rest of the weekend. Jack Ziska. Ziska puts a charge into this baseball.
And he puts it right on target to putts for the third out. And what a job by Jack Finley to extinguish the threat in the eighth. Now the 2-2. Got him! Blows the fastball by him. What a performance by Jack Finley. And Notre Dame comes up huge in the clutch by a final of 6-4. to four. And now you have that drama. Bases loaded. The best player of Texas Tech is up to bat. We thought he tied the game up last inning. He's getting up there with bases loaded to see if he can take Texas Tech to tomorrow. High chop to the first baseman. Final game of the day could be the final game of the regional Notre Dame in the winner's bracket. The championship game, all the Irish have to do is win once. Come on, boys. Got you again. Irish show three, fellas. One, two, three. Got him. John Michael Bertrand, the Friday night starter for Notre Dame, is on the mound. So you can see Notre Dame is going for it. Comebacker should be two. One, six, three. Double play. And Bertrand cracks a smile down the left field line. Extra bases for Spencer Myers, and that's got to feel good for that young man. Smash to the left field for a base hit. And Notre Dame has a 1 0 lead. Lofted, deep left center. Pumping the brakes past the back at second is Prizer. Little Q shot over to the second baseman. Young, it's going to be close. Glove toss, no! A run will score. The speed for the Irish is Ryan Cole again comes through. Tapper off the bat of Young. Throw to second for one on the first. Double play. Notre Dame's infield is a joy to watch. John Michael Bertrand. He has just been one of this game. He has just been moving the ball in and out. He knows what this game means. Finley is looking for his second save of this regional. Bases loaded. Two down. A one-run game here in the eighth inning. Strike three. Finley it up and gets a huge strikeout and now you have that drama the best player of texas tech is up to bat he's getting up there with bases loaded high chop to the first baseman putts will take it to the bag himself and notre dame advances to the super regionals second consecutive year that was easy Irish got it done tonight. Clean sweep of the regional here in Statesboro went 3-0. and And we are headed off to Knoxville, Tennessee to play the number one Tennessee Volunteers. So, going to be a tough test for us this weekend. We're going to fly home tomorrow, get a couple practices in, and then head out to Knoxville probably Wednesday, I'd assume. Get a stab at going to Omaha. Obviously going to be a challenge. Super excited for this upcoming week and uh, the boys are ready to roll. Pretty much just hanging around tonight, celebrating with the guys. Uh, all the parents are here and stuff, so we've been uh, down in the lobby eating and stuff and just enjoying the night. So headed back tomorrow to South Bend. I think we're flying out of Savannah, going straight to South Bend on a charter flight. So should be a nice little travel day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, but I'll see you guys back in South Bend tomorrow. As you guys know, huge wins for us this weekend. Now we got to go down to Tennessee and get some wins, and the next stop will be Omaha. So, But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, click the like button down below. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, click the little bell to get post notifications for every single time I post a new video so you guys won't miss out on new content. And I will see you all next Monday. Peace out, y'all.